I live in Tracy, and uh, oh, I need that. Okay. And I'm a volunteer with Consumer Watchdog. Uh, my son Richard was diagnosed. and you failed him in 2015. He passed away in 2009, April 15th. You sent your letter to me, April, or May 29th, 2015. Richard was diagnosed with brain cancer and an inoperable brain tumor. He was given the treatment he needed. He fought hard and he beat his cancer. He survived brain cancer, only to die from a treatable hospital tre uh, acquired infection. Richard's doctor decided on his own to stop providing treatment for my son without consulting him or us, his family. After Richard died, I filed a complaint with this board. Actually, I filed four. Your enforcement staff, they called. However, the person on the other side um, somehow found Richard's death, tragic death, comical, and I hung up on him. Let's, you know, talk about kicking a mom when she's down. That was, that did it. Talk about, let me tell you, there is nothing funny about your child dying. Whether mother, father, whether it's an accident or needless, needless, because of a doctor decides to stop treating. Your enforcement process is cruel. As advocates, we have been working hard to show you what needs to be changed to give us the same rights in the enforcement process. I stand with my fellow advocates that all deaths must be investigated. Although it went nowhere for me, I still stand and believe that. The treatment I received from your enforcement staff should never happen to another mom or dad. You need to take a good look at your enforcement staff. Maybe perhaps retrain them how to be compassionate and work with the grieving family. Thank you. Thank you. Are there additional public comments on agenda item seven, updates from external stakeholders?